Okay, so something a bit different today. Uh, I'm going to be doing another air gun review. Uh, I've just bought another air gun second hand, and uh, the reason I've bought it is during lockdown with the PCPs, there were nowhere to go and get them filled up, so you'd got to use the stirrup pump, and it is absolutely back breaking. Uh, so I kept looking at Springer's, and uh, finally settled on one after reading quite a few reviews. Uh, found one online, second hand, uh, fairly good price, so went down and got it. And it's the Air Arms TX200 Hunter Carbine. So uh, let's have a quick look at it. Right, so uh, when I first got the gun, I uh, took it up to the ranges, local indoor range. It's only 20 metres, but again, some really, really good uh, groups uh, from a rested position. So let's have a quick look at them now. Now, one thing uh, I had read when I was uh, considering it was you keep hearing people saying that uh, spring guns are hard to shoot. Well, I grew up shooting them, but I've not shot one for probably 35 years. Uh, so getting it back, I was expecting going from the PCP to the Springer for it to be uh, completely different. Uh, it's slightly different, there's a slight bit of recoil, but I'm really enjoying shooting it. Um, it doesn't seem to make much difference that it's got any recoil. Uh, I don't know whether it's like just sort of like memory, you're just holding it exactly the same as I used to hold them when I was a kid. But uh, yeah, I found no problem with it whatsoever. Okay, so uh, I've got the target set up. Uh, it's 28 meters uh, down there by that uh, fence line. So uh, let's give it a few shots and see how we do with it. It's quite breezy, so I am expecting a bit of wind drift, but it should uh, still group, the wind's fairly consistent, so it sh should still group uh, fairly tightly. So it's an underlever gun. The cocking's really easy on it, really positive. Uh, you can tell it's really well made. There's no uh, play in it whatsoever. Pop that pellet, pellet in there. So I've got these targets. And just for a final uh, go, I've got some bottle tops set up down at the fence line uh, on top of some concrete slabs. Uh, so let's have a go at them, see if we can uh, knock them off. So, my overall thoughts on the gun, uh, really pleased about it. It's absolutely cracking. It's a really nice re rifle. I've really enjoyed shooting it. Uh, the underlever cocking, don't make a difference. Um, I think you just used to it from uh, whenever, when I was a kid, even though it was that long ago. But uh, yeah, putting one pellet in at a time, totally used to that. Uh, it's just it's been to a totally different experience to what I've been used to, but uh, an experience that I've really, really enjoyed. So it's going to be staying with me. Well, thank you for watching and uh, I'll catch you next time. See you guys.